All right, here we go. This is an adhesive stamp. It's from Canada. Uh, and there, it, it's a little bit there. You can't just drop it in water. And so it's got a, a different type of glue on the back. And I've been experimenting. And this is the way that... Uh, I found it worked for me and it works pretty quick if it if it works <laughs> so here let's go over some things of course you're going to need your stamp we have a set of tongs we have a pair of scissors which I've done cut the stamp out off the envelope um, I have Q-tips, and I'll show you what I do with this here in a little bit. And uh, here's what I'm going to be using. This regular pledge. At least the wife won't get mad at you for stinky smells. It's going to smell good, but yet she's going to get mad because I'm using her pledge. All right. Let's get things going here. You want to take your stamp, flip it on the back side, or just the paper showing. And I ain't got much in here, but maybe we can get enough. To... I just put a little code on it, and we're going to let it set for a minute. Uh, Times I've done this, it's worked pretty good. Here's an adhesive stamp that I've done. It's come pretty clean. Still got a little sticky on it, but I've got most of it off, and I'll show you how I get it off. Uh, here's another one that I did. Here I am using my fingers instead of... Here is... The same stamp that we're fixing to do. Let's get that. And there is no sticky on the back. So it works pretty good. All right, let's look at this thing. Paper thin got soft. Now, I'm just taking the excess off right here. I'm going to use a paper towel. You will need some paper towels. So, what you do is you just try to bend off one corner. And you won't try to keep from rolling the stamp it needs to set a little bit more but this is a good way I don't leave no residue with the way I do it um, so just kind of stay with it and if it's going to peel up. And you won't take your time doing this. Got a little piece of the paper. And you won't take your hand, if you can see this, place the stamp in your hand like this. Don't want to quite, as usual, do a video and nothing works the way it's supposed to. So, I 
I mean, it's still. There we go. Here we go. Watch this, guys. All right, there we go. We still got a little bit of the paper on there. As you can see, these beads right there. Just gently rub it. And what I like to do is, I'll take a little bit of this overspray and just real lightly you want to just real lightly brush that's why I'm using a q-tip it's pretty soft I'll flip it over try to rub as much off as I can. And it, I can tell it's still got some of the adhesive still on it. So it, can, it still sticks to my finger. Now, whether this is the right way, the wrong way, I don't know, but I take and use Goo Gone. It is a goo and adhesive remover. Instead of just spraying it on there, I take and use what's in the tube. As you can see, it's about to drip out. And I'll put, and I'll just cover it a little bit. Alright, then I'll take my Q-tip, the opposite end of what I had to pledge on, rubbing from the ends, the middle out. say it's still got a little bit of paper on it from the envelope if you have to get your new q-tip As you can see, they still a little bit of paper over on this side. So I'll take. Now here's where some folks may disagree with me, but uh, I have. It's a, called a kneaded eraser. And I'll take it and just kind of I don't want to stick. And I'll take and this needed eraser and I'll just and what it does it takes the adhesive gum it basically rolls it up and rolls it off the stamp this you want to do very very lightly you can see some of the see it rolling up right there see the dark spots in it So 
same way as you was doing your Q-tip from the middle out. And it's just rolling that adhesive right off the back of the stamp. Now, if you wanted to leave the adhesive, you could place this stamp on a polypropylene. Make sure I say that right. Now, you don't want to use polyethylene because it will change the colors. Still got some right there. Now, if it is this the right way, the wrong way? As long as you've been gentle, and I'm being very gentle with it, or trying to, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I have messed some up by trying, more or less trying to take it off the back of the envelope. But doing it this way, I haven't had one to mess up on me yet. You can still feel a little adhesive on it. Now this does take some time. And, I mean, if you, I've seen people use, at this point, they would use a uh, baby powder, talcum powder. So, what I'm going to do, I'm, it ain't wanting to come off exactly right. I'm just add a touch more of this goo gone. Now, in my experience, I, I would thought that uh, it would discolor the stamp, but I mean, that one still looks just as white as it was. So, that's just been my experience doing this. Just lightly, I mean, you get a thick spot where the paper's on there, you can rub it just a little hard. That's why I use Q-tips. And I'll take the dry side. And do it that way. Then I'll take paper towel always from the middle out look at that don't even want to stick now guys alright let's Take and just clean this the face up. See, it's not even sticking now, guys. How about that? All right. There we have. I mean, can you see that? It's a clean stamp. See, it's not even sticking now. So then what I like to do, 
I have just plain water right here. I like to take it in there and just swish it around. And it's going to curl up on you at this point. Get my tongs. See how it curled up. But we fix them to take care of that. Get most of the water off. There we go. Now, at this point, what you want to do, got another piece of paper towel here. Let me set that right there. Just tear a section off right here. Cause we don't need all that. When I had that, I had a lot of stamps on it. There is, that's some of the glue that come off the back and paper. I'll take this. Fold it up. I'll we'll place that stamp right there. Just like that. And we'll take this. Fold it over. Make sure you're not making any creases in the stamp make sure it's laying flat and then i've got get down right got some books here for some weight See the stamp lay it flat and then we'll put another book on top of it and guys that's pretty much it for taking self-adhesive stamps off your uh, envelopes all right guys we're back Got to add this into the end of the video. Here's our stamp that we just got finished doing. Oh. There we go. This stamp is red. I can't hold on to it. But this stamp is ready for the collection. Been drying. Uh, turned out pretty nice. So, self-adhesive sticks can come off of your envelopes. I'm not saying my way is the right way, but it's... Uh, how I figured out how to do it. All right, guys. We'll catch you when I get some more stamps to do the water solution. And all it is is just plain water. But all right, guys. We'll talk with you later.